there guys, I'm Chris Bowden, you're not. Welcome to Geek Group today where we are doing the long awaited equipment autopsy on the Inferno. That's right, I have a brand new, pristine, never been kissed virgin Inferno right here in the box and I'm going to take it apart and you can cry. Just because we can, I love my job. People have been asking about this, people want to see the Inferno, they want to see how it works. Look at that right there, pristine. It's beautiful, new in box. Now the question is, should we take apart the big battery or should we take apart the little USB pass through? I think the best answer really is let's do both. So let's do the whole thing. All right, we'll take it out of the box, just like that. And we've got some other stuff in here, but there's really nothing interesting to take apart in here. There's a little charger thing and that's just a, a little regulated power supply, nothing, nothing all that special in there. So yeah, that's, that's, yeah, let's, let's get into the guts of this. Let's see what the Inferno really looks like inside. So we'll take off the little bands because we don't need those and we'll, we'll start, we'll start with the USB. Now this is a, uh, a standard Volcano Inferno. Okay. This is the smaller one, the 650 milliamp hour battery with the USB pass through. So let's figure out how to take it apart. I really, I have no idea. I, this is my first look at one of these in the context of let's take it apart. So let's see if we can find any little chink in its armor to break into. It's got the little crosses on the end, which every time I pick one of these up to take it apart, I always think maybe that's a way to grab it and spin, but no. And it obviously can't come out this end. Looking at the end here, you can see there's a little recess in there. See that? So that tells me this Casing here probably pops off, but it's going to be kind of tricky to do. So, oh look, it's still got a little charge on it from the factory. <gasps> I don't want to die. If you listen really softly, you can hear it going Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> it's just got the light blinking. Daisy, Daisy. <laughs> Ah, oh, I'm just, I'm going to try and straight up muscle this and see if I can get into it. Watch it it's not going to explode. I just need to get a good grip on it. Where are, all right. Let's see if it'll fit. Oh, it won't fit. All right, I'm going to try it the other end. This is not a bad idea. It's a great idea. This is a great idea. Pain and tears? Pain and tears. Sounds like your love life. <laughs> this is going to be fine. I just got to line it up just perfect. I wish I was as clever as you. <laughs> this is going to be a great idea. This is, this is fabulous. This will work fabulous. perfectly. Yeah. All right. Now, this cuts on the push. Now, all right, come here, I need you to hold this steady. Come here. Not showing my face on camera. All right, well, hide your face under your big shaggy mop and come here a second. All right, you gotta, no, you, you can't block the camera, go over that way. Go, go over that way. Right. Now squeeze this. No, not that, the trigger. Hold, hold this really steady and just squeeze the trigger. Okay, go. Faster. Faster. Yeah, that's it. Just hold it right there. Faster. Stop a second. Let's see how we're doing. Oh yeah, that's working great. Here, let's let's show them back up. No, move your head. I got to see the thing. Oh yeah, that's all right. So we actually might get some good overhead video of this. All right, hold it right there. Okay, go. Fast, fast, fast. Give me all you got. There we go. 
Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, come on, that was clever. We probably should have been wearing like three different kinds of eye protection for yeah. that, but you know, hey, sometimes you never really, hindsight's always 2020. Sometimes you never think of things until the bleeding yeah, starts. Not 2020, you can't see anymore. All right, well, hindsight's, in your case, 2200. Ooh, look, brand new roll of paper towels. Man, I train wrecked that, didn't I? Ah! Okay, there we go. Hey. Do you know how to use paper towels, Chris? Do you want some help? I think I might need a little assistance. So yeah, you can open one, but it takes power tools and a friend. I'm just gonna oh, get all that off there. You. Uh, you can sweep that up later. Here to help. Okay. All right, so why am I holding the box? Don't need the box. All right, so now we've got the body separated from the base. It's kind of warm. <laughs> I wonder why. It's a little warm there. All right, so let's see what we've got now that we finally got it open. That, that, that I got to give them credit. The Inferno is the most well-built one to date. So we've got our little circuit board here. It is definitely time for some Gerber Ninja Mojo. Let's get in here. Let's see if I can pull that out. Need something to grab onto it with. Hold it steady. Okay, I'll just pop that right on there. Come on out. There we go. Okay. So we've got a little shroud thing. This is the inside circuit module. It's what's under the little button when you push the button. And let me see if I can separate the board from the little plastic carrier. I gotta give them credit. It's really well built. And right now they're cheaper than a magma, which is impressive. I, they are. Yeah, the, the Inferno kits at this Inferno moment. Costs $60. Something like that. But yeah, at this moment the Inferno kits are cheaper than the magma kit. Which is yeah, it did trip me up. They're probably going to fix that pretty soon, but I, I'm ordering them for my friends like crazy until they figure that one out. I'm your friend, right? You don't smoke. So? I'm not buying these for people that don't smoke. I'm sending them off like, I got one for my dad, I got one for my brother. I smoke hookah. You, you don't smoke. Okay, you I smoke hookah. No, I, I'm, I'm promoting these to people who are existing real smokers and want to not be anymore. And pretty much everybody I know who smokes cigarettes wants to not smoke cigarettes. It's, it's kind of a universal thing. How am I going to get that? It's this little piece of plastic. I just I don't want to break the circuit board. Hey, I got an idea. No, okay, well, maybe I'm a great idea. <laughs> No, really, that's, I, think that's so way to, I think that's the way to do it, just... Yeah. That's just a little piece of plastic that was in my way. I got it. I'll sort this out, don't worry. There we go, okay. So there's, there's your little plastic shroud, got rid of that. Don't need that. So here's the board. Now look, this one is pretty advanced. Um, I don't know how much I can zoom in there. But I'm gonna, let's, let's see just the limits of our zoom. I'm going to go in as tight as I can so that you guys can get a real look at that. I'm going to turn it around that way so we get a little light on it. Okay, let's, let's zoom in absolutely as far as we can. Okay, that's, that's so much that we're into optical zoom now. We're grainy. Hey, look, there, for the FBI, there's my fingerprint. Okay, that's how far we're zoomed in. That's how tiny this is. There's our board. So let's light that up really bright and see if it helps. Okay, there's, there's our board. And I can't read any of the numbers on it. I can't even see any numbers on it. Um, but that little thing there is the board. To put this in perspective, I will grab a drip tip. Okay, so that is that is a standard, like you can see it right here, that's a standard drip tip right next to it. So it's really tiny. Um, and I can see a couple, looks like a couple transistors and a 
big fat chip and some little surface mount stuff. Let's flip it over, see what we see on the other side. There's the button, and there's two LEDs, one on each side, and uh, some other small surface mount stuff. Let's grab a pointy thing. Here, that's the button right there. That's an LED. That is an LED over on that side. We can see there's some small surface mount technology, resistors, capacitors, that's a solder pad there. We'll flip it over. You can see all your writing and that there on it. Flip it over on this side. Here, we'll turn it around so the light hits it. We've got our main chip there. And a couple little things. I see three solder points, so it's probably a transistor or something like that. It might be some kind of power switching stuff. Uh, this, is, this is primarily like the charge controller. This is the brain of the eSig. So this is, this is all of its brains. Brains. I spend way too much time dealing with zombies. All right, what else do we have? We've got, I love how I'm using vice grips and giant files and stuff takes stuff apart. All right, now we've got, oh, I'm still, I'm still zoomed way the hell in. All right, there's the socket. Now this is the other end. You can see the button which is, that's one of the electrical connections there. When you put the Addy on, this is where the Addy threads in. And there's the threads internally, the button. And then around the back side, we've got, that's the positive feed, the hot feed out that goes to the back side of the button here. Now you can see this little bell, if you look close, it's probably made of copper, maybe brass, um, and it's nickel plated from there, like nickel and then chrome plated, and there's our little Inferno logo. So we can get rid of that. Here's the actual button that you press. It's the biggest you've ever seen one of those. This is neat. I've never cranked the magnification up this high on this camera. All right, let's look at the battery. There's, this is the USB pass-through part itself. So now we're looking right down in there, and it starts out with some black goopy. We'll just take the whole thing right out. Okay, and there's our battery. Huh, I wonder if that was made in China. Maybe, just, just maybe that's made in China. I don't know what that says. It probably says like, American man stupid. You know, so, um, but yeah, the, the volcano. What accent was that? Huh? What accent was that? The worst Chinese accent in the history of mankind is what that was. I got Chinese tape. So see, they saw that we were, you know what did, you know what happened. They saw our equipment autopsies on the previous one. They're like, hey, we're going to get free advertising. We're going to put our brand name on the tape because that, that Bowden dude is showing off all our tape. All right, so now we're deep down under all the tape, and here is the beautiful battery unfolded. Look at the size of that. It's huge. This is a 2.41 watt-hour battery. And uh, we got out our trusty voltmeter here, my Fluke 112, and we measured its voltage. It's, it's, now, this is factory fresh, so it's probably not fully charged by any means, but we measured its voltage at 4.18 volts. So it's pretty serious. And that is your main power module. And look at, look at the size of the battery compared to the thing. I mean, it's, the battery is almost as big as the tube it goes in. So that's cool. Now, there's one other thing left in the tube. Way down in there, we can see another board. That's our USB board, and I can see some solder pins and stuff. So we're going to see if we can push that out. Should be able to do that. Let's try something gentle and loving. Very delicate. Oh, hey, I know how to do this. I got just a tool for this, Corey. I have a drift. This is a drift. It is used for punching things. So when Corey needs to be punched, this is how you do it. Oh God. There, just like that. Push it right through. Yeah, here's the other end. It falls out the bottom. Come on. Come on. Oh, wow. That's way bigger than I thought. That's, that's impressive. Oh, because it needs the depth for the USB plug to go into. It needs something mm -hmm. to hold it. So that's kind of cool. All right. Now let's see if we can get this apart. I could have told you that one. You hadn't thought of it either, shut up. Try to armchair my video. <laughs> you don't know what, I'll tell you what, boy, coming in here, making fun of my videos, 
You don't know. That's pretty rigid. There's not a lot to it either. There's a semiconductor that I don't know what it is because I am not the electronics god. But I'll bet one of our commenters knows. Let me pop this board off. And as soon as I can get it off, it's really, really well built. The, this is the first time we've ever had to use serious power tools to open up an e-sig. So I got to give them credit. This one is cheaper than the magma. It's more powerful than magma, but it's bigger. That's, that's the trick to it. See, that's, that's the difference. The magma is smaller, like physically smaller. And for people that are coming from a regular cigarette, here you go. The, the magma is easier for them to handle. Now there's our USB socket right there. And you can see the board. Now let's, let's zoom in really tight on the board and see what we can see. Okay. Now you can read all the labeling there. We've got, get my little pointy thing. We've got, that's a capacitor, C2. So it's a capacitor to a USB, that says. Um, there's a resistor, there's a diode. Now the diode here is an LED. It actually lights up. If you look closely when you plug in uh, the USB pass-through, you see a little red light on the bottom that tells you that you're charging. Um, now we'll flip this over and look at the back. We've got some capacitors and resistors and stuff, nothing major. Now there's this, which has 5566, I think it says. I don't know, okay. 55B6, I think it I think it's a B is in Bravo. I can't I can't see. Ah, there we go. I can just see it on the camera. 55B6. It doesn't look, you know, it looks different than the 6. At first I thought it was 5566, but it looks different from the 6. But you can see it there. And it's got five solder pads. Look at that. There's three solder pads at the bottom and two on top. I have no idea what that is. It's probably like a MOSFET or something. Who knows? I'm not the electronics god that Kidwell is. I'm, I'm more into engineering than physics. He's, he's an electronics freak. So there's your USB charging into it. And all those together go to make up the Volcano Inferno 650 milliamp size one. That's, that's your whole thing right there. So there's your part. There's your tube and your cap, which we had to carve apart with power tools, which is kind of funny. And uh, now we know where that ends, so that'll be a little easier in the future. I think that's just glued on there, but it's glued really, really ferociously. And they've, they've gotten good at making this stuff. The, the build quality is just nuts. But now that I know where the, the chink in its armor is, maybe we can do better on the next one. So there's your first one. And we'll be back in our next video with the equipment autopsy on the bigger one. We're going to take apart this one, the 1,000 milliamp battery. That'll be fun. Let's tear that apart. I'm guessing it's probably the exact same thing without the USB stuff and a bigger battery. So, But we need to find out. So let's spend some money and break some stuff. It's fun. <laughs> You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bone with The Geek Group. We'll see you next time. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.